are you mature ama wewe ni wa kupost these are the new sides that people are currently taking after shonarua so shonarua yesterday i don't know if it was yesterday but quite recently she talked about how she had gotten her second iphone now some two weeks about one week two weeks ago she was also trending for being allegedly the first Kenyan to acquire an iPhone 16 or to purchase an iPhone 16. A few things that I got today, out with the old, because this is broken. And then I also have a charger. My MacBook charger is just not working. And we got a charger and then we have, of course, it has to be from Apple, guys. This is AirPod Max. <laughs> if you know, you know. And you know, guys, this airport are very expensive by the way and I'm not even saying that for sure. But even if I'm doing off this problem. Sorry about that. So this is the airport, comes with an iPhone charger and all that. And it's heavy. And then of course the guest of the house. The guest of the house, iPhone 16! I got myself iPhone 16 Pro Max. It is guys. iPhone what? iPhone what? iPhone 16 Pro Max. It's about you guys prepare to be sick of me prepare to be in fact if you're watching this video with something that is not iphone 16 deleted just report this video just don't and of course she she showed us all of this by a video and yeah basically she trended for that and then later on and asema that that first iphone 16 was so manly for her she wanted a pink one she called her man and up, she had her new pink iPhone 16 and so I just want us to look at this video where she was making this announcement you know what at times I'm like I think I just do too much you know like I just do too much so I felt like the previous iPhone 16 was a little bit too manly for me like it was just too manly so I had seen a pink one so I called Muse and I'm like Okay, is this pink one and by the way it's because i was buying like perfume and then i saw this pink and i'm like I a pink then i'm like there's an iphone like this sorry come on be a, okay i want a pink iphone 16. <laughs> by the way i've already been updated okay let me put it like this i've already updated that's my baby or my prof on my cover and i'm just like oh. you know at times i'm like <laughs> anyway i i thank god like it's no i already said i'm not gonna be bragging because well, anyway you know? so that announcement actually ended up um starring different reactions among kenyans you know like mbona anatubragia sana and some people even went ahead and said that probably things were ground in different. You know how people often show off on social media, but then qua ground of it different. We've seen this in different scenarios and also in some of the local dramas that we get to see. So could it be that she could be showing us all this, but qua ground of it different? So these were some of the opinions that Kenyans had, of course, while others bashed her for bragging. So she has responded to the haters or rather to the people who felt she was bragging and this is her response that she grew up without anything so she will brag as much as she wants this girl likes to brag a lot small things she will be posting i grew up with nothing <laughs> i grew up with nothing and i suffered in say it with me i suffered in public people saw me suffering even if I get small something like sweet, I will post picture after picture. As we don't post, we have better things. Let's clap for them. Raisi, we now Peter need the matured gang that don't post all their achievements. But us that the Lord has been faithful to us, we will post. Add it to Tanyamba. Thank you. Not that I'm taking her side, but I love the fact that she's owning up to herself, she's comfortable in herself, and she's confident, and she's got that thick skin. Because as a person in the limelight, or a person who 
who is known in social media what ni raisi watu kutaka ku lead your life like people want to tell you how you should be living your life don't brag you know you should be wearing this don't wear that you should be doing this not doing that you should be dating this person and not that other person and so on and so forth so the fact that she has you know the nerve to come and tell people that yo i will brag because of this and this and you won't stop me from bragging you can call me immature but i will still brag i love that for her and maybe we can also learn from her let's all let's live our lives the way we want to live our lives and not the way others want us to live our lives